Amazing. Tumerudi. And because we have less than 15 minutes, hata sita ungea sana. Ehe. Yes, nasikia kabisa I'm struggling. I was not dreaming. Nilizion hivi literally. So it is not okay. So they were zilikuwa zinatokea zinakuja sasa to the world maliniko. Sasa so, zimetokea hapa kwa corridor so the door is open so nimeziona ndio hizo zimetokea now they are heading towards me. So that's when one of them spoke. Kusema eh Ay. anatuona. I'm like Nini ni hizi ninaona na mpaka zinasema anatuona. So me I said, hey, me I'll just ignore these things. I will not let fear come to me. So I just nilisema sitalana. I spoke in tongues this the whole night. Mpaka asubuhi start. Ndio sasa those voices disappeared na hizo vitu zikaenda sikuziona tena. And I remember I was looking at my bed and I spoke to my bed. Nambia wewe, I'm not sleeping on you again. Kesho, ndakuwa nimelala kwa kitanda ingine or my bed at home. Lakini siyo wewe, I'm not sleeping on you again. So, kafika the next day sasa. Ndiyo nakuja kudischargiwa. Kuja kudischargiwa wanambiwa. Ati no, ati you should let her alale tena. Tumeona kona shida. Ati she is becoming psychotic. She was screaming at night. Now they were wondering, ah, now what is happening? Zadila hatu mtoi. Mi niliomba ki moyo moyo. Nikambia mungu hapana. This thing. He mbaka wananyitia counselor to come and talk to me to see if I'm okay. She came, tukaongea, kasema ya jaona shida. And now that's when they softened up wakani ya chili ya nienda. Finally. Yeah. So I came back home because tungeenda hosiku liku usiku. So ndiyo tuliamuka the next morning tukarauka kuenda hospitali. And now we reached the hospital. Nikambo sasa ya niadmitiwe tena nilale ndio nifanyiwe surgery the next day mm. so that is what happened the next day kafanyiwa surgery mm -hmm. so after now the surgery i woke up mali sasa nilijisikia nilisikia a lot of pain pain sijawahi sikia ever in my life and i was screaming kwa recovery world. So doctor akakuja amekimbia hey what ni nini? Kaambia nasikia uchungu. Niambia uchungu ni wapi? Kaambia all over my body because I couldn't explain. Sharp pain. Ni sharp pain. So like akanikalisha hapo akaniweka hizo dawa and I relaxed so ndo nikapelekwa to the world. So kwa tu eh, nilikuwa naonekana ninapona, mambo tu iko sawa. And uh, niko nikana sasa niko sawa mpaka ninatembea mm -hmm. and uh, now nika releaseiwa but now because of the clinics zenye nilikuwa nimeambiwa i didn't come back home mm -hmm. nilienda kwa my sister's place mm -hmm. juu ndo ilikuwa karibu yeah it makes sense so tulienda huko mm -hmm. so when we went there eh, nilikuwa natoka kwa sister yangu tukienda clinic So daktari anasema naona ninaendelea sawa naona sina shida. But now exactly after three months after sasa nimefanywa surgery sasa. Nikaanza kukuwa na complications tena. Like ninasikia nimeshiba. Mhm. Mm tumbo haipungui. Mhm. Mm Cuz nilikuwa nimeambiwa after three months itaanza kupungua gradually mm -hmm. haitakuwa ikionekana iko kubwa cuz ilikuwa imefura cuz ilikuwa imefura mm -hmm. so haipungui and nimeanza kusikia nina lose appetite nasikia nimeshiba 
sitaki kukula nasikia tu nimeshiba na kula tu kidogo so he continued kona ai he kitu aishiba tu so tukawa juice umu and nothing's wrong but kuuliza daktari anasema ni kitu gradual na si tukasema intaisha so nakumbuka it was one sunday it was around evening because i went to meet some some of my friends yeah. wako huko rongai yeah. so i came came back kitu my evening ko so nakunja ni msikia ncha i'm like hey na leo nimesikia nja aje na sisikia yangi nja so i ate well sikuwa na shida but immediately to after kumaliza kukula kaza kusikia i had a kind can't explain kichwa tu i remember it was exactly at 2 am i woke up i'm just vomiting yeah vomiting so we went to end a hosi nikaambiwa and ni nikapewa dawa za kustopisha and then now nikaambo nitakuwa sawa so nikarudi mm-hmm. so tulika aikukua sawa tuliamua sasa twende hosi mm. so kufika kwa mlango wamenikimbilia hata they've not even asked us anything they've just rushed they've taken me they are doing tests wananiweka maji cuz i've had lost a lot of water wananiweka maji they are doing all kinds of tests nimefanywa ct scan na tujalipa hata ndururi mm-hmm. so that is that is what happened now tuka nza sasa kupigia relatives julifika mahali sasa tukaona wataanza kutisha pesa na tumefanywa hizi vitu zote na, ku, na kuna pesa wameitisha mm-hmm. so he started contacting relatives kuambia nimerudi hosi tena nikaambiwa that i have an obstruction the ct scan ilitokea the results kambo i have an obstruction obstruction ni that Uh, the intestines kuna vile zilishikana mm-hmm. zika coil yeah. so they are, they are not aligned mm-hmm. for digestion to take place mm-hmm. so they were coiled another emergency operation mm-hmm. and kambwa ni lazima ifanywe hiyo siku cause i cannot continue eh uh, kunini kukaa hivyo they say they had said that it is a danger kukaa hivyo was it done and that that same night a uh, surgeon was called and it was done by god's grace one of my relatives alikuwa na hiyo pesa na akatoa akasema nitatoa so that it is updated na nhif walipie yeah now when i woke up from that surgery nilikuwa na pipe mm. on my left side of the nose mm it was tightly hooked ati hata ukijaribu kuvuta uwezi toa so nikaamua for the next three days hakuna there is nothing i'll be taking hakuna maji hakuna food but maji sasa walikuwa wananieka okay so they were they were looking now wana nikaamua na kana hiyo ni need for three days mm-hmm. So I stayed with it for three days and it was so uncomfortable. Yeah. Haulali. Yeah. Tunaketi. Yeah. Sometimes you have to to sit you are just sitting. You know, fika sometimes you just turning and turning and turning. Mm. Now it was unbearable. It was the longest three days of my life. Yeah. So now I remember now the third day kafika sajo na kakuja katoa. Okay. So and I was very happy. Mm. In fact the first thing I did was to sleep because she kwa ni melala so that when you call na kuja kuniona they used to find me niko very sleepy mm. so ananiacha nilale all right so that evening too vile nimetolewa i'm just feeling sleepy sleepy nikakuwa ni melala mm. so, so when I, i slept i saw myself nika kuna time nika I'm just turned I'm taken to somewhere else like another world. Mhm. Na nikuja kila tu ngo nimejekelea ni nani. So now nikajiona sasa I'm fighting. 
I'm just stating scriptures, stating scriptures. Niko somewhere now alone. Now I'm ent I've entered a trance. Uh, just babbling scriptures. That has equal an elewa vilezina toka. Just babbling scriptures, babbling scriptures. And now nikajona something like a figure in a kuja. It is fighting me in a strangled chin. And I could see like different sites of images of my family members, friends, and also people that I know praying. And whenever they could pray, I would rise up and I was able to fight. So it went on for so long and I saw that imefika maani, sasa, yes, they are praying, but nina fifia, nina kuwa sina strength. So nimelala tu chini and I was just helpless and I was crying to God. That's when I heard God say with a loud voice, Enough! Leave her alone. Hajamaliza kazi yake. She is going nowhere. Wow. And that's when now I came back and Kajona Sasa Nimerudi. Niko Hosi Sasa. And now that's when I began sasa to recuperate fast. Yeah. That even the doctors all kwana sema you are healing very fast. Mm. And I healed very fast. Nanikatoka hosi. Oh my god. I would like to tell uh, that person that is going through struggles that you should trust in God. That even when you do not feel it. God is moving. God is, will always be there. In the scriptures, he says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we shouldn't give up. We should continue having faith. We should continue fighting. And uh, God will arise and, f and fight for us when we focus on him and not on the things that we are going through. Because mm. when you focus on the things that you're going through, you will lose the strength, you will lose the faith, and you cannot be able to overcome. Mm. Yes. And now you're okay, tangu wakati huo? God amekulinda na umekua na fenzuri. Uh, yes, uh, since that time, uh, except that there was something that was trying to again, mm. but now I will... I went to a conference, Rema Feast okay. 2022. Okay. And uh, I went, when I went there, I came out with the, he with the healing because oh, Ilikui Mianza Tena ku, ku form Tena mm, something mm. else in the stomach. Yeah. But when I went to that conference, I, I fell under the anointing and I could feel fire around my stomach. All right. And uh, when I woke up, no complications. Amen. Yes. That is Rose Nyambura Maina. Amekueleze ushuhuda wake. Mimi sitaongeza anything else. Kuna mungu ambayo huponya. Shetana ajaribu kupigana na wewe. But you plus God, believe you me, you are the majority. Kamete is my name. Hadi Alexander ushuhuda mwingine. Lala salama. Kwaheri.